Hello, welcome to a new video how to destroy your Fender Chessmaster in the easiest way in five minutes. <laughs> no. Um, cheers. Uh, the point is how to send the neck on a chess master. This is a grafted in Japan chess master from 2002. I played it live a lot and I decided to, to sand the neck in the back. Uh, there's a glossy finish. Yeah, what? Well, um, This stuff, I move, of course I move uh, the fingers, uh, and here on the back, this stops the fingers a little bit. So maybe mm, you could say you don't want to be limited while playing. Um, I know it from old guitars, well played guitars, Exam for example this Fender Mustang from 65, the neck is not glossy, it is played, it is, it's nearly the bare wood here. It plays like a dream and uh, very sm it feels very smooth and, and fast, the neck. And this glossy finish here, fuck it, sand it down. <laughs> Let's do it. So this is the guitar Fender Jazzmaster. This is the proof Fender Jazzmaster. Uh, okay, what do we need? Um, don't ruin your table. Put an old shitty double LP cover onto the table and put the guitar onto it. Uh, we need sandpaper, um, a sponge from the kitchen, paper for drying a little bit. More sandpaper. Um, this is a rough one for the guitar. It's 250, and I got also a very smooth paper, 1,200. This is for, for for wet polishing normally. Uh, what else do you need? Something, something a little bit wet for uh, getting a clean place here and something dry okay let's take a look to the neck uh, so you see the finish it's mega glossy here everywhere all right so let's start when I did it first I started with this uh, sponge from the kitchen but it's not aggressive here and I take the rough side and I see a little signs a few little signs of sanding but not a lot you can do this but if you do it with a, this sponge you will sand it for maybe two years and you will be satisfied. So let's take a close, a small close look. Is it already something different? I can see a little difference here already. So when you do it first, do it slowly and careful and yeah, do it. I decided to go on with the sandpaper with the rough one. The rough means here the 240 paper. Yeah, put it to your hands. Put it in this way and go over the neck. 
Oh, as you can see, immediately the white dust is coming. I will not send the serial number. I will go up to here. It can be a bit more rough. And I will not send the headstock. I will go up until the end here where my fingers slowly. But I go into the fretboard where I can see the fretboard. Of course, there's a photographic finish uh, here. Everything is falling from the table. <laughs> <laughs> what was this? I don't know. I don't care. The important thing is to sand the neck. Okay, take care. Take care of the drinks. So this is this is blood. I'm drinking blood. Blood, blood from people who don't listen to surf music. So you can decide what do you want to hear, what do you want to do with your life, what do you want to do with your beloved guitars. Oh, it's going to be good here. I'm rubbing very hard, you can see. Not total wet, a little bit. So you can see, clean it, clean it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and dry it, paper. Yeah. Ah, it feels already better and this was three or five minutes I don't know let's take a look yes you can see a big difference now the old glass and I was like an old classy area and this here for oh. yeah it feels already smoother and faster very good okay there's uh, some dust on it, of course. This makes it it feel mega smooth. You have to clean it, really clean it. But I know I will sand it a bit more. So now it's a little bit wet. Okay, over with paper again. Okay, and we go on and on. Paper. Okay, just taking care with the, the neck pocket and the serial number. I don't do finishing. Hard This was a drum system. I ruined the drum system now. 
You cannot ruin this chat master. In Japan, quality from PSG. You can do also all the time a break and clean it, which is good, I think so, and test it if it feels good for you, it's good. You say it's good or not. You will decide it's your guitar, it's your life. Clean it and dry it. Paper. Ah, it already feels, feels fantastic with the, with the paper on it here. Take a look. Ah, now you see a really big difference. And this is not a lot, a lot of work. Ah, okay. So you see the serial number. Now you see some glossy areas still. A few dents from playing live, but no problem. We call it mocho. So, the area here, I will sand it also. Of course, I want to have it without the tattoo. You can do this, of course, also outside the black basement for outside the flat because of the dust. <laughs> I rub it very, very hard now. I like it with the bare wood. So in, in this area where the body begins, you also can work with the sandpaper very good. So you don't ruin the finish, uh, the, the colored body. It's just the finish on the neck. is to be destroyed. Yes. It has to be destroyed. Sorry, English is not my mother language. I know you can hear this. Amazing, it feels amazing. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 you have to see this. No, oh. so it feels really mega smooth now, super smooth. It feels like a real guitar now. Oh, good, good, good. 
Okay, I'm really happy with my decision to stand it. I cannot, I cannot stop rubbing with my hand over the neck. Oh, oh, this feels so good. Um, yes, stop it now, yeah. Okay, that's it. Yes, that's all. Um, take a look. Uh, this is not down to the bare wood, I think so. Maybe I do a bit more in the future, but for now it's okay. It feels, it feels really smoother and faster, yeah. I will do especially this area a little bit more. You can decide how much you will sand. Maybe this area with a little bit smoother sponge here. Ah, oh, very good. Yeah, let's go. So, I cleaned my hands already and the neck again and tried it. And now let's compare a little bit the two necks. On the right, the 65 Fender Mustang neck. On the left, the 2002 Jazzmaster neck. On the Mustang here, you can see the old glossy finish and it is played all over the years and it feels amazing. And now even the Jazz Master neck feels amazing. The crafted in Japan one. Good! Have fun!